I'm sure there are Republicans and independents who couldn't imagine crossing over to support a Democrat. They fear Joe may turn sharp left and leave them behind. I don't believe that. And less than a year later, John Kasich is already saying that Joe Biden has, in fact, turned far left. Now, unfortunately, that's not true. I wish that it were the case that Joe Biden just embraced the far left and became a far leftist himself. But that's not actually the case at all. He's calling for a bigger military budget. He's backed away from moderate positions when it comes to health care, the public option. He won't even cancel $10,000 worth of student loan debt, which he ran on. So no, it's not the case that Joe Biden has gone far left. So what is John Kasich even talking about? Well, we'll humor his idiotic argument and let him make his case in an interview with Don Lemon on CNN. And uh, as you're going to see, his belief that Joe Biden has turned far left is based on idiocy. <laughs> Take a look. Let's put it, the, per the person who's in charge, the legislation that he's proposing, the things that he's doing, that he's trying, how is oh, that Don, far left? Don, how, how Don, is what that he's proposing is not, is not what he campaigned on. I mean, he's spending, proposing spending money and changing the, 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 you know, the nature uh, in many ways of the way we do things in the United States. Look, he, look I endorse the guy. What he's running on and what he's saying now is not what he campaigned on. He campaigned on bringing us together. Now, there's an infrastructure bill. The Republicans have a proposal. John, how can he to get bring to people together when they don't want to work with him? That's what that's what Don, he's, they, he's, they, he's look, meeting. Were, with, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, he's bringing okay. people to the White House. He's asking yeah. Republicans to get on board with this. He's asking if you don't like my plans, can you offer me your own proposals? I, I don't understand how when you say he's not. He's trying to be, he's okay, trying bipartisanship that, Don. and Don, Republicans are saying, that. hold on, Mitch McConnell is saying, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Our, what we're going to do is just basically block everything that Joe Biden wants. Don, you're filibustering me. I just told you the I'm not, Republicans I'm asking you a have question. a plan. They're gonna... I'm asking you a question. Well, I'm giving you an answer. Okay, I'm, well, I let just, me get I, my I question out, then you. I will give you time to well, answer. No, I... <laughs> But you, can't, right, go ahead. you can't jump in and What's answer while I'm still... I asked you the question. I said, how is he, he... He's the one, quite honestly, who's inviting Republicans to the table. Republicans are saying yeah. no to every single thing that he is asking for and not First offering of all, any false. proposals. How that's is it false? false? Tell me what, they, no, what are they doing. That's because the Republicans have offered an infrastructure plan. Now they've, ooh, they've upped their number to about trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. It's about the same number that Biden has. If they're going to put that on the table, but I guarantee you the Democrats won't accept it. Well, I mean, you just said they don't offer a plan. They have a plan, and it's focused on bridges and highways, the things that are true infrastructure, and they're taking money that is not John, that is not even going to be spent in this year. Wait a minute, I'm finishing now, Don. And the they're, things they're that were true infrastructure in 1987. We live in a society Don, now where you need they're, broadband. They're, we live in a society Don, now where you need to be that, on the grid. Ask Texas what You know what, what that's in, in their the proposal. It's in their proposal. And by the way, I don't want the government running broadband. I want the private sector running broadband. So they have a trillion dollar <laughs> proposal. Well, what, what's funny about that? That's what they put out there. Now, what Biden could say is, yes, I'll accept that. But you know why they won't accept it? Because they don't want to give either. And they're dealing with the same problem internally. They're dealing with, with big problems internally about, is the left going to come after them? And he's, he's on a tightrope. I mean, look, they're going to tell it like I see it, Don. I don't like what they're doing on the, on the January 6th commission. I think it's outrageous. John, I think it's atrocious. To, but quite honestly, to say that it's both sides is really disingenuous. And, and the proposals that the Republicans uh, are making now has nothing to do, it's not even close to what Joe Biden offered initially. It's not, it's not even close to that. And to say that, Don, to, and, and there's no, nothing. That's not true. That is true. There's it's nothing not true. about. There's I'm no, sorry. It's okay, not true. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll have to disagree I mean, I'm just on that. telling you, they're going to put a trillion dollars on the table. A trillion dollars. That's exactly what Biden had. OK, no, it's not. And understand that John Kasich is saying that the reason why he believes Joe Biden has turned to the far left is because 
he refuses to take a joke of a deal, a counterproposal on infrastructure from Republicans, specifically because if he takes this deal, which is a watered down version of his already watered down infrastructure proposal, then the far left will be mad at him. Therefore, since he's trying to appease the far left theoretically, which is not true, but theoretically, that therefore means that he himself is far left. I shouldn't have to explain this to a former governor, but John, this isn't how political ideology works. You know that, right? Joe Biden is not far left. He's still very much a right-wing Austerian. He is a neoliberal. He says what Biden is proposing is not what he campaigned on. Now, funny enough, I actually agree with John Kasich here, but for different reasons. Joe Biden abandoned a lot of his promises that were even remotely progressive. I mean, they were incremental reforms, right? Again, he ran on canceling $10,000 worth of student debt. He ran on a public option. He promised to be better on immigration, and he walked back those promises. So I agree that he's not proposing what he campaigned on, but it's because specifically he's not far left, because he's trying to appease not just the Republicans, but the moderates in his own party, which is a bad idea. If you actually want to be popular, he already knows what to do to be popular. The COVID relief package, where you gave everyone $1,400 checks, that was really popular. Do more of that. Stop being an austerian. Stop trying to work with individuals who don't want to work with you. But John Kasich says that it's actually Joe Biden who's not doing enough to work with Republicans. Can you believe that? Like, as they literally try to obstruct every single thing that Biden does... John Kasich is saying, oh, well, you're far left because you're not accepting their counter proposals. It's preposterous. Like, John Kasich sounds like he's a stupid person. Like, you're not a serious person if you're actually making this argument, but he's being serious here, right? He's being serious here. Um, he says he campaigned on bringing people together. Yeah, and he's naively still trying to go out of his way to include Republicans in the legislative processes. He's still doing this. He shouldn't, right? All he needs to do, if he actually wanted to accomplish anything, kill the filibuster, put pressure on individuals like Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin. You can get them to budge if you're the president with a high approval rating, which he has, but he's not doing that. He doesn't even need Republicans, but he's still trying to reach out to them. So you're making me defend Joe Biden when I don't want to defend Joe Biden because he is trying to work with Republicans. And as a leftist myself, as a far leftist, that's why I have a problem with him. Because he shouldn't be working with a party who is authoritarian and deeply unserious. He threw in there, oh, well, you know, Joe Biden is proposing public broadband. I don't want the government running broadband. I want the private sector to run broadband. Yeah, because we see how well that's working out. I'm sure that everyone loves Comcast. <laughs> First of all, Joe Biden isn't just saying we should have a public option when it comes to broadband, what he's doing with this infrastructure bill is investing in municipal broadband so that way if a municipality wants public broadband, they have the infrastructure needed to set that up. He's not just saying let's nationalize broadband. But to John Kasich, you know, he is a shill for large multi-billion dollar companies. And this is something that even Republicans support, not Republican lawmakers, but Republicans across the country who support net neutrality because they don't like Comcast because Comcast rips them off, as does AT&T, as does Verizon. So, I mean, John Kasich here is doing a phenomenal job at reading the room. I mean, can you appear more out of touch? If there's any issue that has bipartisan support, it's that we all want net neutrality and we hate these multi-billion dollar companies who basically have monopolies in each area, right? Now, what I find absolutely hysterical is that John Kasich thinks that it's unreasonable for Joe Biden to not accept the Republican Party's counterproposal. I mean, sure, this is the way that negotiations work. You come up with a really big bill, expect it to be watered down, and then you kind of go back and forth. They propose a counterproposal, you, you come back with another offer. I mean, sure, this is the way that it works. But if you think that we're at a point where what the Republicans are proposing is reasonable at all, then you're kind of disproving the idea that there are moderate Republicans at all. And I'll explain uh, what I mean by that. So the Republicans' counterproposal, it's not even a trillion dollars in infrastructure spending over 10 years. I mean, with all that is needed to be fixed in this country, it shouldn't just be a trillion dollars. It should be far higher than a trillion dollars over a 10-year period. But Republicans are saying, mm, we'll give you less than a trillion. 
you should still accept that. But that's not even the most ridiculous part about this. Not only is it ex extremely low, right? They're lowballing him. But on top of that, they're trying to stipulate how he funds this. So they don't want him to increase taxes on wealthy Americans to fund infrastructure. They want him to reallocate resources for COVID relief from former bills to infrastructure. So not only are they saying, we only wanna do like a small fraction of what's being proposed, but we want you to use money for COVID relief. Now, I know that COVID is getting better in America because vaccination numbers are ticking up. Having said that, though, the pandemic still isn't over and people are going to need economic relief who lost their livelihoods during this pandemic for a while. So this is extremely arbitrary and stupid. You don't need to use those funds, but they're saying, no, 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 you have to use those funds. So John Kasich is trying to present them as good faith actors who are proposing something that's serious when in actuality their proposal is not serious. Now, getting back to my point about moderate Republicans, what he's proving here is that there are no moderate Republicans, which is why Democrats are wrong to ever try to take the Republican Party serious. And I know that saying this makes me sound like a partisan hack, but trust me, I don't like Democrats as well. But the Republican Party is not a normal political party, right? The only moderate Republicans that exist are called Democrats now. John Kasich may be more reasonable than individuals like Mike Flynn, who's calling for a Myanmar-style coup in the United States, or Donald Trump, who lies about election fraud, but he's still unreasonable. He refuses to acknowledge that they're obstructing everything. There are no moderate Republicans in the Republican Party. Again, the moderate Republicans are all within the Democratic Party now. I'm talking about Joe Manchin, Kirsten Sinema. So I love this story because it really shows the Democratic Party that this is what happens when you try to work with Republicans. Like, I get that this was a strategy that Joe Biden tried to use to try to coax moderate Republicans into voting for him. But I mean, understand that the Republican Party is controlled by the extremists. So when you try to work with the remaining like moderate-ish Republicans left, you're still gonna get burned because even the moderate Republicans in comparison with the Trumpian Republicans are still insane and unreasonable. Beta male.